For the SNP, this election is crucial because they believe victory for them will lead to another referendum on independence. So the future direction of the Scottish nation is on the ballot. It's a huge question, but not the only one on voters' minds. The SNP are asking for an unprecedented fourth term. So that means voters will not just be looking at their plans for the future. The party also has to defend their record over the last 14 years in government. After seven years as First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon's facing questions about whether she's delivered on education and poverty reduction, as well as scrutiny of how she's handled the Covid crisis. Do you owe voters an apology for the tragically high death rate in Scotland's care homes? I will never, ever uh, say that I didn't get things wrong in Covid. I did. I think it is inevitable that that would have been the case given what we were dealing with. And I think it's really important that there is full scrutiny and accountability through a public inquiry. But every single day I have done my level best to take the best decisions I could with the information and the advice I had at the time. And if I'm re-elected as First Minister, in fact, all through this election campaign, uh, and if I'm re-elected as First Minister, that's what I will continue to do. If re-elected, the SNP are promising an additional two and a half billion pounds of NHS spending for frontline health services. A tablet or laptop and a free internet connection for every school child. They want to move towards a minimum income guarantee for every citizen bring the rail network back into public ownership and they plan to hold another referendum on Scottish independence before the end of 2023. I've got a duty as First Minister to lead the whole country. We're in a global pandemic, that's my focus. And then to say to people, here's the choice about the future we can have. We can have a future dictated by the likes of Boris Johnson or we can decide the shape of our future ourselves. But I always put the the needs and the interests of getting this country through COVID first, because that is my duty. It would be a de dereliction not to do that, but equally, it would be a dereliction of duty for me to allow the Tories to take Scotland so far in the wrong direction that we don't have the option to change course. Shortly after launching her election manifesto, Nicola Sturgeon got her first dose of the AstraZeneca vaccine, describing it as an emotional moment. A referendum on leaving the UK could entirely redraw the political landscape. If they win this election, the SNP will still need permission from Westminster for another vote. But the party will insist no one should try to deny Scottish voters the right to choose their own future. Sarah Smith, BBC News, Glasgow.